Music that grabs a listener's ear likely did the same for the artist who created it, but from an entirely different perspective. In tonight's Eye on Catalan, Dan Centella previews a local artist's soon-to-be-released music by exploring why it catches your ear. Mark Romo Romanowski of Sioux Falls estimates that his musicianship has appeared on roughly 20 albums, but two upcoming albums are the first for which he's been the leader. I'm very proud of him. Deeply involved in both albums is his friend, Joel Shotwell. Mark's one of the best musicians I know. Uh, he definitely wouldn't claim that, but uh, uh, yeah, he's, he's almost reinvigorated my love for doing music from scratch. Romanowski sings and plays guitar, keyboards, and percussion, while Shotwell plays saxophone, clarinet, and flute. Every project I've been involved with with Mark is he's allowed me to be who I am um, instead of hoping I would fit into some box of something that already existed. One album is called The Rose Quarter. The other has a slightly longer name. The full title is August Schuler and his ensemble most renowned featuring Joel Shotwell and Mark Kromanowski. <laughs> That's the full title. There's a reason for that. A buddy of mine, um, we were uh, DJs up at KUR, Augustana College Radio, back in the late 80s. And uh, he took it really seriously and he gave himself this name, August Schuler was his radio name. These songs have easygoing vibes. I thought of it as like kind of soundtrack, TV themes, uh, radio spots almost, you know, like just commercial 60s music. And I started thinking of it in terms of like, these were songs that they forgot to write back then, so I'll write them. It's purposefully retro. The August Schuler album is supposed to sound it's supposed to sound like something you've heard before. The August Schuler album is definitely 60s uh, movie and TV theme styles. Uh, in the Rolls Quarter album, I would put more towards progressive rock, maybe? Kind of more jazz-infused saxophone sections. There's lots of bongos on the record, a lot of percussion. Horns play prominent roles on the Rose Quarter, which makes sense when you learn about how he and Shotwell interact. Man, he is so quick at picking up ideas. He had definitely specific ideas for horn lines um, and things like that. He would play uh, his ideas to me. I would listen, then I'd play them back. Knowing that I had Joel to play sax, affected what kind of songs that I wrote. He says these two albums don't especially pair together. They will come out together, that, uh -huh. but, but not really. They're drastically different. And you wouldn't think that it was the same songwriter, I don't think, or the same musicians. However, his or your ear processes the music, this artist is feeling invigorated. I feel like I'm just getting started at 50. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Dan Centella. Cool sounds. Now they hope the albums will be released in the first half of 2023. Well, the 